I got something if nobody. Yeah, come on, bro. I said, man, I'm going to get it to the Lord. Appreciate the Lord. Bless you, Lord. I like to say, Jay, I ain't nothing. And uh, without God, but what God has put in her, I'd like to use it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I, I have nothing. I'm just a man mm -hmm. without God. I uh, had this little bit when, uh, yeah. before I left the house. I'd like to read it and see what the Lord wants to do. But, but I, I thought, Lord, uh, after I don't want to add or take two, but I have to get it out with you. Yeah. I tell you, I appreciate God. I thought His promises, they are true. I thought if we'll keep on keeping on, we'll meet the promise. We'll walk right into that promise. The Lord told me, uh, uh, people, He put people in my life and encouraged me. I'd get down and I'd get back up and thank God that somebody was there. Uh, like you brothers and sisters say, just stay with it. Just Amen. stay with it. And uh, God will do what he says. Just stay Come with on. it. But I like to tell you, I am a happy man tonight. I am a happy man tonight. I appreciate God for that good Holy Ghost. I thought Jesse, when you used to talk, I thought, Lord, I feel like I'm going to fly away, Lord. I appreciate God when he's dead. I may just testify just for a little bit. When we was down there at the church and Brother Mike Fee and Terry got started and I thought the Lord moved and they were 17 of us and the Lord he, he baptized me with the Holy Ghost I, and at that time you know people had, it went home it got late and they was just 8 or 9 of us but the Lord was still moving right. and I thought it sounded like somebody recorded it and sent it to us and it sounded like they was 50 people in there we didn't get out of the service till 12 and I, I looked at Brother Mike after the Lord kind of uh, lifted up a little bit. He didn't lift up too far. He stayed right with us. I looked over at Brother Mike Fee. The Lord had laid him out on the floor. He was on his side. And he was preaching on his side. But I appreciate God. I really do. I thank him. I thought that uh, I'd like to share this, this prophecy with you that I, yeah. that I got a while back now. Uh, don't let me read your mind, but Everybody in here knows uh, who my man I was. And I asked the Lord, I didn't really know how things worked. And I believe now that uh, what they taught to me, you, you have to get this thing for yourself. Right. Uh, but I thought the prophet had come to me and said, This one is gone. But said, Now the man has left you. Right. And I thought, I felt the shoes. They got awful big, Brother James. They got awful big. I thought, Lord, I told the Lord, I said, Lord, how, how can I do something like that? How can I do something like that? I ain't done. But did you know he wasn't on that grave? He gave me that precious Holy Ghost. He knew what was in store for me. And I went on my way with the help of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to read in Matthew 24 uh, and 32. Right, 
16 years, it ain't going to happen. But I'm glad I stayed with him. Somebody ever come up to me one time and said, you sons, you've got to stay with him. You have got to stay with him. Right. I'm going to read a 32nd verse for the help of the Lord in Matthew 24. Yeah. Uh, it says, now learn a parable of the fig tree. When its branch is yet tender and put it for a fleece, you know what summer is now. So likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that the end is near, even at the door. And I, I've not been up there at the house, you know. Uh, uh, I live up there close to Brother Earl. And I got some dogs, you know, out in the, out in the yard. And when somebody comes up, I know it. Because the dogs usually start barking. And when somebody comes on the porch, there's a sound that that gate makes. There's a certain sound. There's a few bars on that porch.
when I got saved, you know, I'm sorry. I said, Lord, if you want me to, I like to be a little preacher for me. You know what happened to Prophet Payne? He said, You will preach for me. Yeah. You will. <laughs> That's where my desire was there. I didn't desire to be great man. I just wanted to help people. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to heaven and I wanted to take this meeting with me. And I'd like to tell you, Dave, Dave is an adversary up there and he's put blinders on God. God's people. God's people trying to blind you, make you feel that it's all right. But they still work to be done. Lord, the Holy Ghost moved on me and I had to stand before some of my family and, and some of the older ones and I thought, Lord, you know, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to rebuke nobody, but I had to give out what the Holy Ghost gave me. And then the Lord told me, said, tell them, said, don't you let nothing stand between you and your work. Nice. You and your work. That is what touches God. Nice. You know what the book said that we was made likeness in his own image. That tells me that God has a heart. He has hands. God has a heart and he can't be touched. Right. I hope I ain't a weird you, but I like to say it's true. In verse, uh, I believe we're in 33 now or 34. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Therefore, be ye also ready. For 
in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man coming. I want to be ready. Yeah. I want to be ready. Yeah. When the Lord comes, even when He, if He don't come back tomorrow, I still want to be ready tomorrow. But we ain't tomorrow ain't here. Tonight we're living for today. Take no thought for tomorrow. That's what the book says. You got to take it as it is and do your best today. I appreciate it. Brother Jesse. You lit me up. I, I appreciate the Holy Ghost for the now you you want now listen, you want seeking for that Holy Ghost. I know it's easy to get discouraged. I know, I know, but you stay with it. You keep on going. You keep on believing and striving. You keep on praying. You keep on doing your best. You say, Well, I fell. You pray till you ain't telling no more. I thought there's a brother one time. I, I said, I'm failing. I can't, I can't get it right. I can't seem to get it right. You know what he done? He didn't say, well, you better straighten up. You know what he done? He said, let's me and you get together. He said, let's me and you go pray. He said, let's me and you fast tomorrow. Let's me and you fast tomorrow. We didn't tell him about it either. He said, let's get together. Let's pray till you ain't feeling no more. I'll tell you what, we need one another. Right. I need you. That's right. That's right. I need you. I 
I believe the book, I believe what my elders has taught me, and I want to stay with that because that is what worked for me. Right. That is what has kept me. I hope I didn't come to hound you to death. No, I'd like to tell you something. There is hope in God. I believe an angel was good. Stood by the when he's on the ship. The, the storm was so bad that he told him, said, I give you everyone that's on the ship. Yeah. Yeah. And he told him, he said, it look, you know, in other words, it looks bad. They even give that storm a name. It was so bad. You're wrong with them. It was so bad. But you know what he said? He said, I believe God. Yeah. I believe God. Yeah. I believe him. Yeah. I appreciate the Lord. I didn't mean to bounce around. And I, and I, I Brother Jesse, I really appreciate you. Let me, I'm learning. And I want to learn. And I want to do it right. And I, I want to do it with love. Folks, if you don't build on love, it's what they taught me. But if you don't build this thing on love, you may build it all the way to the very top, put the last string on, but you'll have some fall if you ain't build on love. I, I, I tried to build a, a chicken coop one time, and I'm by no means no partner. But I tell you what, the Lord got in that. The Spirit of the Lord began to teach me how to build. And not houses or anything like that. But he referred to him. But I thought I began to build. And that thing, it, it, the wind didn't have to blow it over. It just fell over. The, the storm didn't have to come. It was so crooked. But the Lord told me, he said, start with the foundation. Level up your ground. Make sure that's right. Overlook it. Take it over a couple times and look. Make sure it's right. Then lay the first block. Somebody said, well, you got you to gotta do it fast. But I just want to do it right. right. I just want to do it right. right. I like to tell you, there's hope. Hope thou in God, there's hope. But there's hope. There's hope. My brother, I talked to him. I, I'm gonna, Come on, I appreciate the liberty you let me have, Brother Jesse. But I, I, I thought my brother, he, he, he was in jail. And, and we, nowadays, you get to talk to him on that iPad. I'm no good with those things. But, and, and I got to see him. And in jail, you have to be a different person or they'll hound you dead. You kind of got to put on a tough personality. Yeah. And I knew that. I knew that, but I was talking to him. And he's talking about the Lord, BJ. He's talking about the Lord. He said, he said, I can't really do it during the day. He said, because they'll, they'll get me. He said, but at night, when everybody's laying down, he said, I'm going to cry. He said, I don't know what to say. I don't even know how to pray. And then I see his head go down, BJ. And I said, the Lord wants to help you. And I see his head go down. He said, but he don't have to. And I said, right there. I said, that counts. That right there. I said, that right there. I called you to get saved. I said, you keep that counts. I said, if they beat you to a point. Broken heart and contract spirit. It's been many times. I remember the day I got saved. But there was many times I was broken. Contract and he rescued me. And he saved me over and over and over again. I appreciate God. I told him, I said, keep choosing the right things. I said, you can have this if you want it. If that's dealing with you, you can have this if you want it. But I told him, I said, you gotta want it. You gotta want it. I appreciate the Lord. I, I, I thank the Lord for all my brothers and sisters and the elders that taught me, still teaching me. And I, I learned so many things from them all. Got to sit with her quite, quite a bit that, that's the last two or three years. And she came up to the house and, you know, Mamma never would leave the house, but not hardly. But she came and stayed the night with us one time and, you know, we had a good time. But all the things she taught me about the Lord. I hold dear to my heart. I don't mean to hold you up, but I, I feel that lifting off. But I appreciate the Lord. And Jesse, for letting me read that word of God. Let me preach. And I hope I hope it ain't weary your minds. Hope it ain't weary your minds. But I, I'm telling you, the, the enemy, he's, he's trying to work on God's people. I'm telling you, if he can scatter us and, and divide us up, the book says a house divided cannot stand. So you know, let me tell you, let me tell you this, brother. I'm excited. But you know what? There's a time the Lord spoke to me. And he said, I'm coming to talk with you. I'm coming to talk with you. And I, I fell asleep on, right at my kitchen table. There's a lot of experiences with me at my kitchen table. But I fell asleep right there. And I said,
seen the devil standing in my kitchen. The Lord showed me this. And I seen the devil. And he was standing over by the oven. Or by the stove. And he had a big old pot, Lou. And a big old stick. And he set his eyes on me. And he was stirring that pot. And he was looking at me grinning. And he wasn't talking, but I could hear what he said. He said, this will cause you to fall. He said, this is going to get you. And he was just stirring up that pot. Stirring up that pot. But the Lord, brother, I'm, the Spirit of the Lord fell on me in the stream. He said, go look in the pot. I went over and I looked in the pot and there was nothing in it. There was nothing in it. And the Lord began to teach me, Brother Floyd, about a lot of times when we come back to the house of God and we get waiting on one another, who's going to sing, who's going to do that? But you know what the enemy will do? He'll put it in your mind. He'll say, so and so is thinking something of you. He'll get in my mind, so and so is thinking something of you. Before you know it, everybody's standing there waiting on the Lord to move. But it's in us. If we get hindered, the Lord can't have His way. Right. <coughs> Stirring us that pot of nothing. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. The enemy, he'll get in your mind and he'll say, Your brother don't love you. And it'll cause you not to get up and sing your song. What have you, the truth? It'll cause you not to get up and preach. It'll cause you not to get up and testify. He'll say, So and so don't want to hear from you. But I'd like to tell you something. That's the enemy. Stirring up a bunch of nothing. But it seems to work sometimes. It seems to work sometimes. But he looked at me and he stirred up and he said, It's a good you. And the Spirit of God spoke to me and said, Go look in the pot. There was nothing. Yeah, come on, brother. Stir it up a bunch of nothing. Yeah, Just to keep you, I remember, Jesse, I, I remember one time you said, said people say, Well, you know, the Lord can't, can't, can't be hindered by the devil. And I remember the very word you said, All he's got to do is stop you. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 He, 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 he tries to be crafty. Yeah. And I'll tell you, he, he'll get it in your mind. And he'll say, So and so don't love you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get up and sing now. That time it's something like yeah. it. Ain't, well, he's a girl, the Lord loves you. But I appreciate the Lord. I appreciate everybody. I, yeah. I'm a big lot you. But I'm a happy man. Right. I appreciate the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I'm a happy man. I appreciate the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. 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 Y